Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 2001 on a Y. Porsche 911 uh, Carrera 2S Tiptronic Cabriolet. Uh, finished in seal grey with full black leather. Uh, we have got the hard top for it as well. Um, 54,000 miles on this one with very, very good service history. Nice spec on it as well. It's got the um, 993 cup style alloys, which are sort of a dull chrome colour and do look to have been refurbished recently because there's no marks on them at all. Um, shod with a matching set of Continental Conti Sport tyres. Does look nice in the sun. Um, electric hood goes up and down exactly as it should. We've just done photos of it with the hood up and now the hood is down. And they will go up. All the hood goes up, windows come up, everything works as it should from that point of view. Um, it's got the three spoke steering wheel with the Tiptronic buttons on it. Standard apart from an aftermarket exhaust, I can't remember what it's called, but I do have a bill for it, so I'll be able to tell you, uh, tell in the history, what the uh, what the exhaust name is. Anyway, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Really very little in the way of bad bits. Uh, starting around the front end, all I can find is there's a tiny blemish just there and a matching one just there on the front valance, which normally means, yeah, in fact, there is a slight, very slight scuff just on the base of the valance here. Normally means someone's gone over a speed bump a little bit or, or a ramp and it's grounded slightly and just, you know, the, the, the bumpers been temporarily pushed just out of shape but it is slightly scuffed on the front lip of the valance um, yeah nose cone all pretty good very few stone chips and stuff on it a bit of dust there um, it's I mean obviously the color does help the seal gray it does disguise um, not disguise but you can't see chips and stuff quite so readily but it's it's actually really rather good the paintwork on it in my opinion. Looking down the near side, no dinks or anything in the doors. As we say, the wheels look to have been recently refurbished because they're in generally pretty good shape. Screen's all nice, one or two tiny chips on it, but uh, nothing more than tiny stone chips. Near side door, all good. Interior-wise, um, say full black leather, a bit of scuffing on the driver's seat bolster. Sorry about the shadows, the sun's um, slightly high. But dash is all nice. It's still got its original stereo in it with the CD stacker in the, um, in the luggage compartment. Uh, electric seats. Carrying on round, near side rear wing again, all very nice. Near side rear corner, all good and scuff free. Lug, uh, engine cover, all good. And again, looking down the offside, it looks very, very straight indeed down there, looking obliquely. Offside door, all nice. Offside front wing, all nice. All the panel fits and everything are all very good indeed. And the panel gaps. And then inside here, this one's also got leather dash and um, door cards as well, I think, according to the, uh, the build sheet. And as I say, slight, very slight scuffing on the uh, driver's seat bolster, uh, commensurate with the with the uh, with the mileage, but um, all in pretty good order as far as I can see. It's a proper build plate there, and the proper one under the bonnet as well. Nice, genuine 911. This one, in my opinion, it's obviously a 996 variant, but. Uh, I like it and uh, got to go through the history this afternoon which is the size of a telephone book as it often is but um, yeah nice car 
My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com. End.